Hi, I'm here with Allison Armgrim. I am so excited. Okay, perfect. There we go. So excited. Uh, just saw her show Confessions of a Prairie Bitch, and it was excellent. Thank you. Um, my YouTube channel is all about Michael Landon, and my subscribers love him. So just give me just some. Um, you said that he would like stop everything to, to talk to fans. Yes, yes. This is true. Absolutely, he would. If fans were visiting the set, he didn't care. He would stop and he would talk to the fans and he would pose for a picture and he would do the thing. He also is amazing. His sense of humor, he would he would put up with dumb jokes. Let's face it, you know, like I joke about everyone asks the same 10 questions. People told the same jokes to Michael Land and made fun of him and a lot of people would have gone, <clears throat> and he didn't. He would be crossing the parking lot and they'd go, hey, little Joe. He'd been on Little House already for several years. Uh -huh. It's been some time since he'd been little Joe and they couldn't resist. They would yell, hey, little Joe, ho, ho, where is Hoss? Ho, ho, ho. Like you were the only person in the world to think of this guy. Right. And you would think after the five millionth time, he would be like, Oh, for heaven's sake, and just be given. He would not. They would yell, Hey, little Joe, where's Hoss? And he would like go, and then he would turn right around and go, He's in the kitchen with Hop Sick. <laughs> and he would totally answer back and do a joke and laugh. And I mean, afterwards, he sort of shrug and go, Okay, like how many times, seriously? But he would. He would still make jokes. He would chat with people. I met people. I met a guy from Australia on a plane. Apparently, Michael Landon loved Australia. Uh, he went to Hawaii and Australia a lot on vacation. I met a guy from Australia, and he'd met him. He'd met him. Apparently, everyone in the entire nation of Australia, like, had met him because they would vacation there, and he'd go in the shop, and he'd say, my family owned a shop. He came in. He was so wonderful. And anyone I meet, there's a coffee shop. If you go to LA, and you go down to Sony Studios, which was MGM, where he filmed the second, like, several years of the show. There's a teeny tiny little coffee donut place and it was open really early in the morning, the insane hours we come in. And you go in and it's a, a Thai family. So there's like that whatever Thai presidents and a couple of people in various religious artifacts. And an eight by 10 autograph picture of Michael Landon over the coffee machine in the middle of it. Like, wait, what? Because he would come in there so early in the morning, get coffee touch, and he was nice to them, and they hung his picture, yeah. and just all these people who met him and interacted with him, and, and all the people who ever guested on the show who would all say, wow, I can't, it was so much more fun than being on other shows, and it just was. So it's just amazing, amazing person. And he was gorgeous, of course. He was. I, he, okay, he was better looking in person. It's hard to imagine. But those I beautiful know. white, white teeth and that mane of hair. When he walked into the room, in fact, we were talking about the other day. Like, Dean was talking about, Melissa was talking about, we're all saying, when you get, and Pat Laberto, when he, we were in uh, the Cherry Blossom Festival, he was saying, he said, you walked into a room, he lit up the room. Yeah. He, he, there was like nobody else in the room but him. Yeah. And when he talked to you, you were like oh, the yeah. only person on earth. It was incredible. Yeah. And and Charlotte talked about you walked in and went, oh, it's Michael. He said, it's Pat. He said, you couldn't mistake him for anybody else. You came into the room and went, oh, hi, yes, the movie star here. Because he, he glowed. He just glowed. Yeah. And yes, he would, he would pump up the seats where he took his shirt off. He would work out and make sure he's pumped up. He absolutely, the perfect makeup, the perfect hair. But that smile, the 10,000 watt smile, as they say, yes. he really, really had that. And you'd see him go, but you'd see him in person go, how is it possible that he is in fact better looking in person than even on TV? But he did, he was, he did it. Thank you so much for talking about him. I love Little House on the Prairie you. and your show is great. Thank you. Thanks again. Awesomeness. Thank you, Allison. I want you to know something. Two years ago, I had COVID for three months. Right? And Little House on the Prairie got me through those three months. Watching it, knowing that, you know, things will get better. And so just thank you so much. Thank you. We have an episode called Quarantine in one whole That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.